All right, man. How you doing? Good, you? Not too shabby. What's uh? How's the pandemic? How's the pandemic treating you? Uh, pretty bored. Yeah. But, uh, getting a lot of rest and uh, time for uh, to work on myself after my injury. Yeah. So that's the thing. Like, you know, lots of us have been sitting around and complaining about this just for a couple of weeks. You've been sitting in your house with a, you know, with a shattered leg for when? When did that happen? Uh, November thirtieth. November thirtieth. Like a couple of days after you came and skated with us for the first time, right? Yeah. yeah. So what? Uh, yeah. So let me talk about how, how's your rehab going and how are you dealing with everything with uh, when it comes to your injury? Uh, it's going great. Um, I had a schedule, so that's good. Uh, getting stronger every day. Every time I work on it, it's getting better. So uh, good. It's good so far. Is it like at the point, like still, do you still feel it or is it normal? Like can you at least function? And No, I definitely feel it. But the surgeon said I should feel normal after like six months. Six months. So uh, we're getting close. December, Jen. I don't even understand the concept or passage of time anymore at this point. So yeah. um, how did it happen? Uh, is actually Boyachko. Oh, this guy. Turning around the corner and I just, my leg was behind me and he hit me in the boards and I just fell back awkwardly and it, it broke there. Clean, clean hit? Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you talked to him since? No, no, I've like, never talked to him before. Well, I can, uh, I mean, hey, you guys are going to be on the same side. We're in the same color. So, um, yeah, that's the kind of game he plays. That's pretty funny. Um, so if you guys, if there was playoffs, would you have been able to play? Uh, the last game, I went on the bench just to support. But uh, I don't think I would have been able to jump into a playoff game Yeah, just too soon. <laughs> Might not have been worth it anyways. Like you want to heal up oh. properly and yeah, sing it in the long run and uh, think about next year. Yeah. Yeah. So besides all that, the injury and whatnot, I know you're eager to get over it. I mean, what do you do besides try to get your leg right? Uh, what do you mean? Like during the pandemic sitting around in your house, what are you trying to do to keep yourself entertained? I play video games, watch some Netflix, spend time with my uh, mom about it classic well, yeah that's pretty good um okay last one for you i mean i know you had you know you would have had options where you could go for junior hockey and whatnot um you know committed to the flyers you know and we're really excited to have you so you know what what helped you make that decision or you know maybe there's a lot of guys out there right now who you know they might have not have that same luxury or they might not have spring camps and stuff so yeah maybe just talk about your choice to to commit with the flyers and uh, maybe some advice for those guys who, you know, have to make some decisions right now. Uh, when I came to your camp in the uh, fall, I was my first junior camp. And uh, you guys just set a great example for what junior hockey's like. It's a great organization. Everyone around's uh, fun. But I went to that practice. You guys know how to have fun. But there's also a serious part of hockey. So you guys know, know when to hammer down and went to have fun so that's that's a good way for me to choose awesome and then yeah what would you say to some guys who are still trying to make choices and figure out their life without the luxury of having camps and whatnot uh just pick from your gut don't don't uh, second guess if you've been to a place uh just go off of what you know and I'm sure uh, that they'll make the right decision. That's awesome, man. Um, okay, one more, actually. What are you looking forward to the most when you get to actually put hockey skates back on and get a, get a stick in your hands and, and step on the ice? Just to be on the ice. I miss the game. It's been a long time. I haven't uh, been off the ice for this long since I started playing hockey. So oh. I'm super excited. That's going to be huge. What a mental relief that'll be just to step on the ice and, and coast around so you know it's a lot going on with the world right now and it's perspective and that's what's important but you know I know you're eager and looking to get after it so like I said Yak we're really excited to have you and you know stay safe over the summer with your with your family and 
Don't let anybody sneeze on you. Yeah, you too. Awesome. Okay, thanks, Yak. Talk to you later.